because I already did them and um, if you like them I can do an in-depth tutorial on how I do my eyebrows as well because my last makeup tutorial I did them really messy and it's not usually how I do them but I was in a rush so um I like doing my I can tell you guys what I use though I don't use like pomade or anything I'm trying to get into it I actually just bought one um from this company called um, Playing and Makeup by Yolanda. First of all, the freaking eyeshadow palette that I just bought, I'm super excited about. It's so pigmented, like crazy. And it's a black owned business, so I wanted to support it. Um, so I will be doing an initial review on that as well. Um, so basically, I use this eyeshadow palette. I, do, I used to use pomades, but I don't really like them and they dry out so fast um maybe i just don't know what i'm doing but i use the black color in this palette um and i try not to make it look so harsh because you know black can be really harsh um but i believe you guys can see my eyebrows um they look fine i always use this brush it's the only brush that i use um, and I use my Milani concealer to conceal around my eyebrows. Um, and I also, before I do them, I shade them with this razor thingy. Because this is like the only thing that really cleans up my eyebrows. And then I also pluck the hairs that I couldn't get with the razor. So that's pretty much what I use for, oh, and my little spoolie, 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 spoolie. So that's pretty much what I do for my eyebrows. So we're going to get into the face. Usually I would um, put, um, what do you call it, corrector on, but we're going for a real natural look today. And I feel like a lot of the times when I use corrector, my makeup looks very cakey not in a bad way um but like no so also we're going to be doing a little eyeshadow today i have this brush i don't know what i forgot what it's by um but i got it a long time ago um and i'm going to be using my juvia's um the wall of your palette and we're going to just do some brown which i'm going to use what is it called cano is that color right there that's the color that we're gonna use which is the only color that we're gonna use because we're doing like a really natural look today um and my last night which is where i did like color so i want to like pack it on actually before i do this um to get the best pigment i want to use this nyx primer it's my first time using it so I don't know if you guys can see it. It's my first time using it, so I don't really know how it's gonna. Wait, how do I use this one? I don't even know. It's really thick. It's supposed to be this thick. So, I'm gonna burn my eye. do eyeshadow but I feel like for natural looks 
using brown eyeshadow is like everything so basically i'm just gonna um, pat this all over my eye and i'm gonna just keep packing it on until i like the way that it looks Have you guys watched the show, The Ultimatum? I think this is the dumbest show ever created. Because all these people on this show get mad when, um... First of all, the concept of the show is people who gave their spouses, um, or people that they're in a relationship with, ultimatums, and, like, of marriage and stuff. And basically, they switch off with someone else's significant other to see if it's just the relationship why they couldn't commit to them fully or it will open their eyes to commit to that person fully um these people have tremendous issues um if you haven't watched it yet my hands are always fucking ashy i can't i can't i can't i can't anyways if you haven't watched um, the show you should though because it's looking kind of funny but okay so that's what this eye is looking like let me turn my well not turn it off I really like the aesthetic of my diffuser but it's looking in my way so this is what this eye looks like and I'm gonna do the same to the other eye I'm gonna pack it on but basically, all these people in these relationships, they want to get upset because their significant other is doing stuff with someone else, which is, that's the whole purpose of the show. These people have problems. Okay. Okay. It's like, you're the one who forced, it. a lot of them force their partners to come on a show and like, and they get mad when they get connections with someone else. I really want to go for some new shopping. I was just gonna use this color, but I think I'm gonna add some dark brown to it as well. Just a tiny bit with the same brush. And I'm just gonna put it up here. That's basically like the the best thing, picking the right line and stuff, to get the perfect look. You just have to be patient and just blend everything in. Okay. So we're done with that. My phone is about to die. Anyways, so next we're gonna go in with um foundation i am using the matte poreless 368 and deep it's deep golden um maybelline maybe it's maybelline <laughs> play without asking so i just put it on my hand i was going to use a new brush um I was gonna try it. I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna like it, but I'm gonna try it anyway. It's this e.l.f. foundation brush. 
I don't really use this type of brush for my foundation, but let's see. I feel like I'm painting some of these. It was so hard. I used to use 360, so imagine how light it was. Um, but I found this one, and this is like my perfect shade in this room. Um, so, gotta really get up there and cover up them spots. Not spots. I don't like it. Is giving painted face, so I'm definitely gonna go in with my blender. But it's good to get all over. Okay, I'm using my blender. I can't figure out how to get all the makeup off of them. So this is how you get a flawless foundation base. And you don't rub, you pat, 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 pat. It's crucial in doing your makeup with a blender. Because if you do, you'll get streaks. If you rub it, you'll get streaks. And your makeup will be flawless. Okay, so let me make sure I'm going to make sure. So, what I'm going to do is spray my face with setting spray. This is the Ready Set Radiate um, brand of this tart. <laughs> and then I'm going to pat it again. Then we go into the concealer, my favorite part. So we're going to use this Can't Stop, Won't Stop Concealer by NYX. It's in the color Warm Caramel Diffuser. I know you want to be on the camera, but not right now. Okay? So, get a whole bunch on it because I like to use a lot of concealer. And I basically just draw lines under my eye like that. And then this one we like. This is what we like right here. Just give it. And then something um I'm not going to contour 
just just because it's so a basic base um and i don't really want to contour i don't really contour much in in general um so i'm gonna let it sit on here and lie to y'all um also i forgot to tell y'all i did use primer i used um this face primer before i even did and before i got on camera as soon as i finished my eyebrows i put this on um but it's the face primer by wet and wild um so then we're going to blend this in um with this because it's pointy, pointy. Push P. Yeah, push P. Turn me up. Turn me up, P. Uh -huh. Corners in the paddock gave my peace. A push a P. Cop no hair, I'ma fuck my peace. We don't want no peace. Got a spot in Puff Spot. Jeff for peace. Drop the data, now we plot. Inside the peace. She not a lesbian for peace. She turned peace. One is a setting powder by NYX, can't stop, won't stop, in the color medium deep. And I also have this loose finishing powder um, by Fit Me. It's in dark. So we're going to use both. And we're going to use this little fluffy brush. So I'm going to put this all over my we could have been superstars Remember when we were checking cars Now it's not safe for you You switch like a pussy little bitch Damn, my knew you tripping We could have been superstars Yeah, but now I'm reminiscing Remember when we were checking cars Now you better keep your distance Cause it's not safe for you I don't know how other people use powder, but I don't care. <laughs> My makeup is for me. Okay, so I'm going to come on the brows just a little bit. <laughs> okay, and now, um, and actually my eyeshadow palette, the one that I use for my eyebrows, this is the same palette I use for like blush, and I use this pink and this red color. Um, one is Kiss and Tell, and the other one is Heartbreaker. Um, this is from Hard Candy. I got it a long time ago. So, um, what I'm gonna do is take this fluffy brush and I'm gonna smack it in both of them. At the same time, and just like 
Okay, and we're also going to highlight, I know some people put highlight, highlight on after, well no, I've never seen anybody put it on after, anyways, I'm using the Wet n Wild Highlighting Powder in the color Crown of My King. I'm going to put it on my cheeks and then a little bit on my nose. And then we're going to do lips. So I have lip gloss on, but I'm going to wipe it off. And wait, actually, I'm going to set my face. Same setting spray. That's why I put a lot. Too much. Yeah, I'm doing the same thing. So now lips. So I have this worn out freaking lip liner that I can't stop using because I love it. So it's to the point that I don't even know what it's called. So don't come for me. So we got the lip liner on, and then this is my favorite lip gloss, y'all. Um, it's the NYX Butter Gloss in the color Creme Brulee. I love this stuff. And y'all already know I gotta put on the black.
I only have it on I put on too much. Clearly I put on too much. Okay. And eyelashes. Okay. So I just bought this multi pack of eyelashes from the beauty supply. This is what they look like. And um, hair, the bold volume lightweight darling lash, 5D darling lashes. Um, I just picked them up. And these are the lashes that I wore on my dress, and I already wore two pair. Um, I think this is the name is called Serafina. Serafina. This is the lash glue that I use. This is the only one that I actually ever buy. Um, you can't see it, but it's a super strong whole eyelash adhesive clear by Eye Envy. It's the only one I buy. Shoe. I could just put the, the lash glue like this. Thank you. Thank you. I was like I'm just gonna put glue on that because I put that on the wall. Can I put it on now? Thank you. I'm gonna fix it though because it's like perfect. So I take tweezers and actually I'm using my fingers and smash the lash on my eye. Because sometimes I do use the tweezers, but a lot of the times they get stuck. So I just don't feel like doing that.
So I'm back and this is the finished look. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you would like for me to do more makeup tutorials, just let me know in the comments. Also, don't forget to watch part two of the organizing and decluttering video um, that is up on my channel. I'll also have a link to where you guys can just click it in the video and you can go watch that if you haven't watched it already. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.